In question 6, the problem statement says that the ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 5 is to 7. So their present ages are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 4 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 4. So present ages are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 4 years later, the ages will be in the ratio 3 is to 4. Find their present ages. So the unknown, the unknown is the uh, ages of both Harry and Hari. Both, both of the ages are unknown. So let's start by assuming their present ages. So assume the that the present ages of Harry and Hari because they are in the ratio 5 is to 7. So we can assume the present ages like this. So we can take Hari's present age to be 5x years and Harry's present age to be 7x years. And why have we assumed it this way? Well, because the current ages are in the ratio 5 is to 7. That's why 5x and 7x. And what we have to do is we have to find the value of x. Now, what will be the ages 4 years later? So 4 years later, let's write the expressions for the ages. So the ages will be, well, for Hari, the age 4 year later will be 5x, the present age, plus 4. So it will be 5x plus 4 years. Similarly, for Harry, his age 4 years later will be the present age 7x and then you add 4 to it. So 7x plus 4 years. Alright, now what we have is Harry's age 4 years later in terms of x and Harry's age 4 years later also in terms of x. We also know that the ages 4 years from now will be in the ratio 3 is to 4. So 5x plus 4 and 7x plus 4 should be in the ratio 3 is to 4. In other words, if we divide them, 5x plus 4 and 7x plus 4, if we take this ratio, this must be equal to 3 is to 4 or 3 divided by 4. So this is how we get an equation in x and now we can solve it and find the value of x. To solve this equation, let's cross multiply the RHS denominator on the LHS and the LHS denominator on the RHS like this. Let's see what we get. So on the left hand side, we get 5x plus 4 into the RHS denominator 4 and on the right side, we get 3 into the LHS denominator which is 7x plus 4. Now let's simplify this equation. So we have 5x into 4, that's 20x. And then we have 4 into 4, that's 16. So 20x plus 16. On the right side, we have 3 into 7x. So that's 21x. And then we have 3 into 4. So that's 12. All right. And now let's transpose the 20x term to the right side so it becomes minus 20x and let's transpose this 12 to the left side so it becomes minus 12. So on the left side we get 16 minus 12 and on the right side we get 21x and the transposed term minus 20x. And finally we can see that on the RHS we get 21x minus 20x that's x let me write it on the LHS. And then we have 16 minus 12 on the other side, which is equal to 4. So we get the value of x as 4. And now it's easy to calculate the present ages of Harry and Hari. Harry's present age is 5x years. So his present age is 5 into 4 or 20 years. And Hari's present age is 7x years. So 7 into 4 or 28 years. So the answer to this problem is that Harry's present age is 20 years and Hari's Hari's present age is 20 years and Harry's present age is 28 years. And this completes question number 6. Hari's present age is 5x years. So Hari's present age will be 5 into 4 or 20 years. And Harry's present age is 7x years. So Harry's present age will be 7 into 4 or 28 years. So the answer to this question is that Hari's present age is 20 years and Harry's present age is 28 years. And this completes question number 6.
to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers